Good morning. This is Ian Sumrall reporting for Country Sports TV. And we're still looking at the fiasco of the general license. Now, English Nature have said that we can use Section 4 as an exemption um, to still control pests to protect crops. Our main shooting organisation, Basque, have said a couple of weeks ago that this should not be relied on and that we needed the general licence. I've had a note from the NGO that Natural England are not issuing individual licences for pest control because they say we can use Section 4 of the Wildlife and Countryside Act. Now, when you have an Act of Parliament, it makes things illegal. It prohibits something. So, the Wildlife and Countryside Act protects songbirds. And that would be Section 1. Section 4 is an exemption. But, let me read it. Notwithstanding anything the provisions of Section 1 or any order made under Section 3. So this doesn't apply to Section 1 and it doesn't apply to Section 3. Any authorised person shall not be guilty of an offence. Authorised person being the person that's got permission to shoot on the ground. By reason of killing or injuring any wild bird. Now, I didn't think that that would account for anything because the pigeons, crows and magpies have been taken from Schedule 2. But it does because it says any wild bird. So, Section 1. Hang on, let me, let me finish this sentence other than birds included in Schedule 1. Now, Schedule 1 is the songbirds, the protected species. If he shows that the actions were necessary for the purpose of, and then we go, that is Section 4, 3, and then we go to Subsection C, preventing serious damage to livestock, foodstuff for livestock, crops, vegetables, fruit, growing timber, or fisheries. So, it is clear you have an exemption under the Wildlife and Countryside Act. Now, this is primary legislation. This overrides and is greater than a general licence. If you went to court, this would take priority over a general license. It has to. It's primary law. It's been to Parliament. The general license hasn't. The general license is issued the same as a statutory instrument is issued. Both parties agree and the Minister of uh, State just signs a piece of paper. I don't think that's very democratic. I think now, I think that the general license, we've had it for over 30 years and they keep reissuing it every year. And I think that the general licence should be written into the Wildlife and Countryside Act. Or the provisions of it to allow us to do pest control. And the easiest way to do this is to put Schedule 2 birds back on the list. But the problem is what we've got is the EU Bird Directive, which I talked about last time. Now, the EU Bird Directive says we've got to maintain populations. Now, I, my argument is that if we don't m reduce the number of predators, corvids, etc., then they will predate on the songbird population. And we're obligated under the bird directive to maintain a strong population of the protected species, blackbirds, robins, etc. 
Now, if you look at the British Trust for Ornithology website, they have little charts of the population of all the birds. And you go in there and you click Blackbird England and you get graphs. I'm going to put some graphs up now. And this is the graph of the pigeon, the wood pigeon. As you can see, the numbers of population has been growing over the last 20 years. I would argue that we may not be shooting enough of them to maintain a standard level, to maintain that balance. Now let's look at jackdaws. Yeah, once again, the, the number of jackdaws is going up, the population is growing. Let's have a look at rooks. Rooks have dipped slightly in population, but it only just dipped. Carrion crows have gone up, so there's more carrion crows now than there were 20 years ago. Now, if the predators are growing, the damage they do on the protected species, which is Schedule 1 on our list, which is our songbirds, robins, blackbirds, etc., that we want to protect, is then going to be greater. It has to be. So, I think that we can use Section 4, Subsection 3C to carry on shooting to protect crops. I don't think it's a problem because it's primary legislation. Now, don't rely on my word. Look at the Act yourself. You can find it all online. It's on the government website. And make your own mind up. Take legal advice. But I think, I think I'm right. I just hope I'm right. <laughs> Uh, anyway, this is Ian Summerall, Country Sports TV, trying to sort out this mess we're in. Bye.